How in the world are you? Mike here, Mike's Pressure Washing, Trenton, Ohio. I wanna do this video this evening, somewhat of a repair backslash service backslash installation video. And it is to show you my new three-way ball valve by Banjo. It's a Banjo three-way ball valve. Google it, study it, buy it. To my home shipped $30.11. Historically, I've been using those cheap gray plastic ball valves that you can get anywhere. And I haven't been able to really get them to last very long. In fact, the last one I had literally broke on the first job. Maybe I'm rough on things. I don't know. Uh, $30.11 shipped to my house. It has uh, half inch inlets. So I had to reduce that down to quarter inch to uh, fit the hoses that I use for my downstream injector. And then the two bolts, um, I got Ace Hardware with four washers and two nuts, $3.37. And then when I consider the hoses, which I have laying around, of course, but we're going to round that up to $35 for this setup. And this is to rinse the downstream injector, which by the way, I get from Russ at Southside Equipment in Kentucky. And so I'm doing the math on this and it's not like it's a big deal, but I'm just asking myself, is it really worth it? Because quite honestly, I do not have much struggle at all with downstream injectors. I know a lot of people do. Some are like replacing them every few weeks even, but I have had this three-way ball, that, or excuse me, two bar, ah, can't talk, dual barbed injector that I got from Russ. It's a general with a 1.8 orifice. And I've had that all season long. It is now almost October of 2021. And I have repaired this one time, maybe twice. So you can get the repair kits from Russ for about five bucks. So I have to ask myself the question, is it worth it? Because I can repair this seven times for the price of this one valve. And if this goes bad, then I'm either going to have to buy another one or not buy another one and just have a hole in my, <laughs> in my control panel <laughs> as I have here. So I'll explain that later. So this better last long term. If it does, then it's worth it. So let me explain this super quick. This again is a dual barbed injector. I got that from Russ, as I have already said. This side of the dual barbed injector right here, boop, 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 right here is for degreaser. I meter that on this side of the um, control setup with this Pintair valve that's fully open that's you know half open something like that and then this side of the dual barbed injector is for sh which is across the way oh gosh i hate that look at that that needs to be straight i hate when things aren't straight drives me crazy so this is this side of the dual barbed injector functions through this pent air valve right here and you can see i have it fully open so I want to rinse the, the, this side of the dual barbed injector out. And what I have to do is turn it from soap as it is in currently the soap position to water and then spray. And ideally, because I have water coming from the, the um, buffer tank, it will then suction water through the ball valve or, or the, the downstream injector, forgive me. Uh, instead of SH. And so I used it today. It works flawlessly. Now, someone's going to ask, well, what about the degreaser side? Well, the degreaser side isn't going to uh, be as potent, and chances are it's not going to hurt the uh, down, downstream injector. By the way, I use it very rarely. Nonetheless, all I would have to do if I wanted to is pull this hose and put it over here and, and do a little suction there for a minute and um, rinse that out as well. So there you have it. Uh, if you have questions about that, let me know. I'd be glad to answer questions as best as I can. Oh, oh, one more thing. Some were asking. This came in. The gauge. Re you'll remember that 
the other one that I had was cockeyed and absolutely driving me crazy, just driving me nuts. So this gauge and uh, unloader goes to the eight machine, as you see here. This gauge and unlo unloader goes to the 5.5 over here. I almost never use it, but it was driving me crazy that that was turned. And so I ordered another one and I used the uh, the old one, put it away for safekeeping. I'll put it in the box and it works perfectly fine. I'll use it for backup. I like things to be nice and straight, as you can see there. So anyways, my OCD kind of kicking in, but um, there you have it. Hey, Mike's Pressure Washing, Trenton, Ohio. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to be alerted to future repair backslash service backslash installation videos and the sort, then hit the bell tab and you'll be alerted as to when I update the channel. So uh, shout out to Herb with uh, All Pro Exterior Services from Louisiana. Also our good friend Joe Deary from Putnam, Connecticut. He and I have been chatting a lot about this as well. And he's he's got a, a new setup that he's working on or has already completed for um, his uh, three-way ball valve as well. And that is powerful improvements. Look that up if you haven't already. All right, so there you have it. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good night.